Hi guys, uh, good morning. Uh, right, it's, it's a midweek match. It's um, Budley, uh, <laughs> Budley, uh, River Seven, and it's the float only match. That uh, I think it's sort of uh, every other fortnight, or anyway, very similar to that. Uh, Sped over, I think it's five matches. Um, or is it six? I don't know. I'll have to have a, have to have a look. But uh, anyway, um, I think you drop one anyway. I know that. So uh, anyway, we've fished two so far. Um, I'm lying eighth, which is not bad. Um, they pay the top ten. I think it's 50 odd anglers. It's a sellout. Um, and it's good company. I mean, uh, some of the top Midland anglers here. So, um, you know, I've got my work cut out to uh, keep in the uh, top ten. But it's good fun and it's good fishing as well. Um, it, this part of the River Seven, it's sort of um, shallow in most places and it runs through quite fast. Um, there are some deeper areas, you know, um, and of course there's some flyers and there's um, uh, some reasonable pegs. But uh, I think on average, you can, you, can, you can get in on a lot of pegs on uh, Pewley, so... Um, you never know until uh, till, uh, you pull that number out, that draw. Okay, anyway, left my babbling. Let's get on. Um, just going to have a bit of breakfast and then do the draw and uh, let's see where I end up. Okay, see you in a bit. Hi, Carl. Hello. How are you? <laughs> uh, okay, everybody, I'll just give you a quick briefing. Okay. Um, welcome to the third round of the Float Champs. Um, River is extremely low. Um, not a lot we can do about that, unfortunately. Um, so, wading, you're probably going to have to wade on quite a few of the pegs. Be sensible and respectful to the people around you. You know, you don't want somebody sort of, uh, you know, four rod lengths out or whatever. So, just, you know, just be sensible. Um, make sure that you try and get your net into running water. Um, and also, the stewards are on a premium today. There's only a couple of them, uh, so they won't have time for uh, catch shots. And I don't want to, you know, bog down with having to take photos of somebody lying against the tree with a barbell on top of the head. You know, <laughs> just, just be sensible, you know. And also, I don't want to fish out the water for 10 minutes or so in these type of conditions because it is going to be hot again today, unfortunately. Uh, peg 50 and 51, you've got an option on there. I think today you're liable to get people swimmers i don't know you know they turn up at very randomly they turned up in the middle of a thunderstorm on wednesday but there was nobody there on friday so you know just use your head there a bit um we're gonna fish 12 until 5 okay then we're back at the ribbon all then afterwards so if you can come back there and support that um napa's gone up to authorize uh sorry supervise the parking at the top we've got to be really careful at the moment he's on the war path at the moment He's already sent me a letter, a, a text saying, you know, that uh, parking is in danger because somebody left the gate open. The gate's probably been open for 30 years, but if you, if the gate where you go down the drive towards the um, uh, the style, if that gate's open, just close it. You know. So, <laughs> anybody got any <laughs> questions? No. Right. right. Okay. Away you go. Must have the first one. Is that the first one? <laughs> it's upside down. <laughs> so I got the choice. You got a choice. You got the good. Um, right. Thank you. Fifty-eight. Wait, master? One of your pegs. Thank you, Mark. Colin. Nicholson. Oh, that's it. You can see the way from the front. I've got an idea. So I need to know who else five brats is. Okay, <laughs> right. That was a bit of a hustle and bustle then, the draw. Uh, 51, uh, well, I got a choice of 50 or 51. 
I was talking to Paul Turner just now, he had it uh, one of the matches and he, uh, he fished peg 51 because he got a choice on those and the uh, problem is you get a lot of kids jumping in apparently, swimming. <laughs> so he said don't worry about them, just carry on fishing and I think the you know, fish get used to you know, that sort of thing. So anyway, let's go down the peg, it's just below the buttress if I remember and um, like an old railway bridge I think. Yeah, just a bit, and it's just above uh, obviously 53 and 55, which are good pegs. So, uh, anyway, let's go and have a look and see how we're going to tackle it. <laughs> so, I just got to my peg, and there's a bloody angle opposite. Look, and he, he's got it landing a fish. Looks like a barbel. He got it? Yeah, I think he got it. Yeah, he netted it. Don't know what he's doing. Lifting it up, is he? Yeah. Yeah, there's a barbell about uh, three pound, I think. Oh. Well. Oh, of course, he's on the feeder, and this is a float only match, so uh, that's going to be the big difference. Now, I got um, a choice of, um, you know, the pegs are like uh, only about 10 15 yards apart. Um, I was told to go on this one, which is 51, because um, I've got a bit of a deep hole here, which might hold perch just under the bridge here. Uh, So this is 51 now. <clears throat> so uh, the other option, and I hate this when they uh, when this happens when they give you a choice of pegs, because you're stuck in between. You don't know what to do. Uh, peg 50, which is this one. Now the only problem again is an angler opposite, just above. But if I did fish this one. Gives me a, a longer swim to fish. Hmm. Decisions. Right, I was told, uh, well, a couple of anglers have said 51 is better, but um, of course when you've got an angler opposite you, I don't know if it is. And the other problem we've got of course is we get swimmers jumping in the water here. Okay, I'm still at a quadri right. I think I've made my decision. Uh, I was going to fish this 51. Um, I just spoke to a, another local and he said if he was me, he would fish 50 because it's a bit of a longer swim. Um, and of course, I, I won't have an angle opposite me. And if I fish this 51, I'm going to have there's an angle opposite which in, this, in really is going to sort of a uh, could cock me up a little bit so it doesn't matter I think uh, whichever swim I got is going to be about the same anyway so um, I don't know what uh, you would do viewers um, I know Paul Turner had, had this one and, uh, on a match in the festival had 31 pound but he did catch a few barbel on the feeder so uh, as I say it's, not, it's a float only so Fish in a float, that means the peg above is going to be far better because there's a longer trot, you know. Okay, I made my decision, so let's, get, let's uh, move my gear now and move it up to the swim above. Started. I'm going to uh, go have a go on the bread to start off with, see what happens.
Well, right, guys, well, match is over. I'm afraid it's one of them disasters today. Um, Andy Bruton, but me, he hadn't bothered to weigh in. Um, the guy above him has had a couple of perch, but uh, we just haven't fished in this area today. Um, I heard there's a couple of double figure weights further down, and somebody somewhere is going to have them. So, so this looks like this could be one of the matches that I'll be dropping, <laughs> unfortunately. I probably got about three or four pounds, but uh, that's not gonna. Well, if I'm lucky, I think. Have I got uh, two perch, a few days. Yeah, so anyway, it's kept me busy. I mean, I've been uh, catching those little things again. Last hour, I went, well, the first hour, as you notice, I went on the bread and didn't have a bite on that. Then last hour, I went up um, on a big trunch of uh, maggots and sort of down the uh, far side and nothing. No. So I went, you know, went for it then the last hour. But by then, it's all, all over. Anyway, um, be interesting. I'll probably drop out of the top 10 now, I would think, today. But anyway, um, have a look at the result balls later. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll take a quick photo of the fish, I think. Not a lot. <laughs> but that's, so, that's fishing, isn't it, you know. I've had a couple of um, bags of fish lately, so... Uh, yeah, it's going to come a time when you're not going to catch, you know, not so much anyway. Okay, see you later. There you go, three pound one. <laughs> I was hard earned. But there we are. As you say, can't bag up every time, can you? But you know, in a funny way, I've enjoyed it, you know. As I say, Andy didn't bother to weigh in above him, and another guy walked past who didn't bother to weigh in. But I think there's a, what, a nine pound just up there and uh, double figures down there. So, you know, some people have caught. Luck of the draw sometimes. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.